This winter so far in the lower Pioneer Valley has been pretty interesting. You could even say we barely had one. Yes, we had a major snowstorm in the beginning of December, but since then we've severely been lacking snow. So let's talk about what could be affecting our winters here in western Massachusetts. One of the biggest things meteorologists and even weather enthusiasts look at for impacts on winter weather is something called ENSO, or the El Nino-La Nina Southern Oscillation. It sounds complicated, but let me put it simply. Basically, ENSO explains the condition of the water in the Pacific Ocean closest to the equator. If this water is warmer than normal, that means there's an El Nino, and if the water is cooler, that means it's a La Nina. If the water isn't far off from normal, it's considered neutral, and that's what we have right now. All three of these conditions make up ENSO. El Ninos typically occur every three to five years. In the U.S., one of the strongest influence seasons by ENSO is winter. You might have heard in the northern U.S., La Nina winters are generally colder and wetter. El Nino winters are generally warmer and drier. The conditions are the opposite for the southern states. But in Massachusetts, it's actually a little bit different. At least that's what the data has been saying. Notice on those maps, the strongest effects don't quite reach into Massachusetts. When diving into the data at the Westover Air Reserve Base in Chicopee, the snowfall change from El Nino to La Nina winters was not really significant. In fact, only half of the El Nino winters had below normal snowfall, and it was the same for La Nina winters. Only half had above normal snowfall. This data spans from 1949 to 2018, but let's not forget ENSO is not the only thing that affects our winters here. There are also air circulation patterns called the Atlantic and North Atlantic Oscillation that have positive and negative phases. A negative phase means colder and snowier winters for the eastern United States if positive. Colder air stays farther north over the Arctic, so eastern U.S. winters are generally warmer but drier. For Massachusetts, it is never as simple as just looking at ENSO to predict upcoming winter conditions. I'm 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Kelly Reardon, and that was today's On Kelly's Radar.